Hello everyone, and welcome back to a second review tonight. Um, this time I am bringing you a figure from the Clone Wars line. Um, another figure that's been, uh, that I've been wanting to do for some time, and I first got around to do right now. And this one is um, the all new Ahsoka Tano figure, right here. Which is, in my opinion, a really, really cool figure. Uh, you may notice the humongously large backpack here. That's to fit in Road of the Hudlet, which comes with the page. Let me see here. Um, now the figure itself here, I'll just remove the Hudlet so it won't drop. Uh, it's pretty well detailed. Um, it's all plastic except the skirt, which which is. Uh, uh, soft goods. Um, the only bad thing about this one is the light. It won't really hold the lightsaber very well. It doesn't take much to take it out of the hand. And apparently for once it does now. Don't know why. Um, <coughs> but it's pretty pretty uh, colorful as well. With, all, uh, with these uh, leg tubes I believe they are called. Um, called in this way. As for articulation, this one was from the lightsaber. Um, she's got a she's got a ball uh, ball hinged, <coughs> sorry, ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, swivel forearms, swivel uh, waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So she's pretty well articulated, uh, but like with all Clone Wars figures. I think there's always some sort of articulation lacking on this one. It's the um, the elbows, and uh, I figure like Obi Wan or Anakin from the uh, first wave. It's uh, the knees that lack articulation. I don't know why they're doing this on, on the Clone Wars, not not the uh, legacy ones. I seriously don't. And if I knew, well, I'd go raving about that. Um, but well. This one is still a pretty cool figure. Uh, like I said it comes with uh, this little guy here. Rota the Rota <coughs> the Hutton, which is a Jabba, Hutt, Jabba the Hutt's son from uh, the animated movie that went out this summer. And it's pretty good actually. Uh, and as I said, he fits in this backpack here. Like he does in the movie. Seems to fit there. Um, as I said, this, this is in fact a really cool figure. Uh, I actually really like it. So I, um, instead of keeping the box, I just bought another one. Uh, not because it's rare or anything, but I just think the figure deserves to be hanged up uh, on the wall. That's by the way some pretty cool. Oh, sorry, over here. It's pretty cool artwork here. See, I'll just try to see, get this right. There we go. Uh, and the background here looks pretty much like all the others. And I'll just, I'll just quickly read to you from the back. Anakin's Padawan Ahsoka both amuses and uh, exasperates uh, her master with her plucky attitude and imp impertinent comments. She's tasked with keeping Java's son safe as she and Anakin try to escape their attackers. She. Uh, Ethic Natalie nicknames the child Stinky because of his odor, the characteristic stench given by the hut species. Yep, nice smell. Um, so this was a look at the uh, Sobatano figure, which I'm going to rate um, 8.5 out of 10. I'm not all satisfied with it. As I said, the, uh, the elbow is like the articulation, and well, I haven't tried putting her on a stand yet, but I really wish they would include one because this one is one of the figures, except the Yoda under Kaiba, Yoda and Kaiba, that requires the least force to knock down. I have no idea why Hanford doesn't include, uh, will not include stands anymore. I, I wish they did, but let's hope they do it in one of the next uh, collections. They're gonna make. Anyways, that's, this was it for now, and um, until the next time, the Mail Force will be on.